Whether you're a player or a server owner, you're always wondering what kind of mods do you want to look for in a server or have on your server? Well, here are the five mods that I think you would like to have on your server or you would like to play with on a server. So the first mod that we're going to be talking about that players and server owners would truly enjoy is Snafu Weapons. These weapons are very well balanced and they're so balanced that they actually work well with vanilla. Of course there are many weapons inside of it that you could be considered OP and completely break vanilla, however with the over 200 plus choices of weaponry you can choose from, you can easily turn those off or not have those in your server at all while still giving your players or as a player have a huge variety of weapons to choose from. Furthermore, this mod has an amazing assortment of weapon attachments to these weapons. And a lot of the attachments can go on different weapons and everything else. And the weapons themselves and the attachments that go with it actually look like gorgeous weaponry and real weaponry you would find. Now, I'm not saying you would find this exactly in Shinaris or um, telling you that it is 100% more based. But what I'm telling you is that the weapons look quite beautiful in game and totally fit overall the realistic looking kind of weapons that we see in vanilla. This weapon mod is amazingly overall and I would highly suggest you take a look at it if you're a player when you're looking for servers or even if you're a server owner just wanting to be able to have a huge plethora of arsenal of weapons to have on your server without having to load four or five different weapon mods. And our next mod that is coming up, drumroll, da -da 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 -da, is not code locks. It is the combination locks overhaul. The reason why I like this mod is because it adds in more dials of locks, ranging from five dial all the way up to nine dials, increasing the difficulty and time it would take to brute force a combination lock without breaking that vanilla feel. Furthermore, it allows you to open and close your gates once you have entered a lock um, without having to re-enter the combination lock after you have done it once. It also has a UI interface that pops up and appears right in front of your face as you're spinning the lock dials, so you can see it in real time in front of your face rather than having to look to the left-hand side while you're doing this. Also, it does have an admin mode. If you are a server owner, you can add yourself to the admin list and you can open and close any door inside of the server without having to mess with the dials. And finally, one of the coolest features with this mod is the ability to turn off the time it takes to open and close a gate if you have already entered the code or to make it instantaneous. And it does have rating features along with it. The next mod that I would recommend is a clothing pack. And not just any clothing pack, it is the Windstrides clothing pack. This guy is a legend in the Daisy community, not only for his amazing skill with the, with the clothing, but also the fact that almost all of his clothing, if everything of his clothing is modeled by him textured by him and implemented and made by him now that's what's cool about it is that it's not just a retexture or a cosmetic or rp purpose clothing pack a lot of his clothing items have a multiple purposes and actually are useful outside of just looking cool or camouflaging into the existing environment for example he has a item called a shambag which allows you to fold into a scarf a face cover, or a full head wrap, healing everything but your eyes. Then furthermore, he has a leather cloak that was commissioned to him by the 87.8 FM podcast when he gave it away as a prize for the um, upcoming Christmas, which folks, their event is coming up, so if you guys are interested, make sure you check them out. Again, they're the 87.8 FM podcast, and Winchride has donated another free model and implementation of one of his things into his clothing pack this year as a prize. So go ahead and check that out. Furthermore, he also has even such a thing as like a canvas backpack, which allows you to attach like a water bottle, a melee weapon, and I believe on one or two other things. But the size of the backpack isn't so big that it beats all the other vanilla backpacks. Overall, this is a beautiful and gorgeous clothing mod, and because it has other features other than just cosmetic or RP purposes wise and actually fits the narrative of DayZ, I highly recommend this one. Now, the next mod is not necessarily purely for players, but is more definitely a server owner mod. However, it does benefit players. The next mod that I'm going to suggest is the Universal API made by Damon Forge. This is not only the groundwork and the foundation for the other mods such as Discord, Raid Alar, Maplink, and Heroes and Bandits, which 
brings back the Heroes and Bandits system from the old Arma 2 DayZ mod days, but it also allows server owners to calculate how many items are picked up inside of a server, how many times those items are used, how many actions are used, and so many other statistics, creating some really cool graphs and allowing you to break down how your economy is functioning and how it is working to better benefit your player base. And as players, if your server owners are using this to its full extent, not only will you benefit from the mods that I said that depend on it, but you also will probably benefit from it because your server owners will be more in tune to how people are playing and adapting to the server and listening to less of the people who only play on it for a couple hours and think they know the economy and give everyone a breath of fresh air when changes are actually being made that make everyone happy overall. All right, folks, next in our list and the last is Lad's Lighting Overhaul. Now, this mod is absolutely amazing because it adds in two new options for your world lighting. Gone are the days of only having zero for bright nights and one for super dark nights. This mod adds in two more options that allow you to essentially use the moonlight to be able to navigate when it's not overhead and clouded. It is a very dynamically beautifully made mod that re-overhauls the entire daisy lighting system not only at nighttime but during the daytime and allowing you to fully enjoy the mod however if you don't like um, one of the settings there's two options here so you can use um, choose between the two of the options that he gave you one being a little bit brighter with some other changes and the other one being a little bit darker more of a hardcore kind of night experience but still fair to people to try to navigate by moonlight or using light sources while still being afraid of the darkness in the bushes. He's also included two more options in one of the most recent updates that adds film grain into his mod, allowing you to choose the film grain options or the non-film grain options, but pretty much making it so you don't have to worry about those people cranking up the brightness and ruining this amazing experience you have set for your server or for you as a player, allowing you to have equal ground with all of your feather players in PvP. I can't speak highly enough about this mod, and I hope you folks enjoy at least trying this mod, if not all of these mods together. And what is a mod list without self-plugging your own mods? One of my mods I would highly suggest you check out and look at is my Building Fortifications mod. This mod allows you to make doors as well as window barricades and fortify existing buildings with many more features coming soon. But overall this mod is to complement vanilla and I feel that it should have made it on this list. However, I didn't want to be too shameless and self-plug my own thing. But it's a bonus mod if you wish to check it out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.